good day or good evening whenever you're watching this. Julie with the Happy Vintage Shopper. Hello, peoples. Sorry for my delay in posting a video. I have been a little swamped with my coffee camper, which you guys all know, um, Lucky Penny Coffee has been up and running in my driveway all summer. So that has been a huge part of my days. I do have been running around sourcing. However, I haven't been finding a ton, but I have been finding more recently. So I was able to kind of stockpile from the last few trips to um, Twice as Nice, which you guys know is Mahana Hole. And I'll show you what I got um, in the last, let's see, what. so last week, the end of the week, and I went yesterday. So I'll kind of show you what I have. And I don't remember how much, but I do know that they've been running a half price clothing sale. So I it was able to, which I didn't show, I, I already have it all priced and you know, it's all all up in, on eBay or at Five Star in Fort. Um, and they had half price clothing. So I was able to grab just a whole bunch of really good vintage clothes that um, some of it I have here that I will be putting on eBay. And then some of it is at Five Star. So and then um, I've already sold some things at Five Star. So that's fun. I do have a sale going on at Five Star probably through the end of the month. I have 20% off my booth, and there are other vendors that have sales. And if you haven't already been to Five Star um, Antiques and Vintage in Fort Atkinson, you need to go. It is three floors of the coolest stuff, and you're just going to have a, about two. If you've got a couple hours or an hour, just pop in there and have some fun. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. So all of the fall things are coming out. As you guys already know, you've probably been feeling the feels of fall. I personally would rather stay in summer mode, but I start school. You guys maybe do or do not know I am the lunch lady at the Catholic school here in Jefferson. Um, I absolutely love that job. So that starts on Monday. So Lucky Penny's weekday hours did end yesterday, so I have got the rest of the week to kind of get my head together and get things, you know, organized and ready to start at school. So here we go. Let's get to it. So um, let me show you what I picked up. So, um, so this is probably two different trips to Twice as Nice. Um, so I grabbed these mugs. So these were, um, it looks like these were 25 cents a piece. So they are adorable. They are vintage. They've got this cute little saying on there about friendship. And little girls, two little friends in the rain, which is so cute. And then this one. So this obviously is the same maker. I wish there would have been a couple more, but so cute. They do say made in Japan on the bottom. Um, I have not looked these up but I know I can get more than 25 cents. <laughs> so more than likely, I will put these up on eBay. That would probably be where I'm gonna put these. So I don't I don't have, um, low, so at Five Star, I've expanded. So you guys know, probably saw that video, but I have expanded. Kate has given me kind of into the corner where I have my vintage clothing corner. Get it? Clothing corner. And then there's the window, and then I've got a whole nother shelf. So I've expanded, and it is so awesome. But with that expansion, I still can only have things that are a little bit on the smaller side, um, like really large things I'm not able to put up. But, um, yeah, so here I grabbed these two cups. Now, these are vintage. One is purple. One is like a gray. They probably would have been in a whole set. I have not looked these up yet. They were a dollar piece, which is a lot. However, these vintage glasses do sell pretty well for me. So I'll put these up on eBay more than likely. But they're probably anchor hawking or something like that. So I grabbed those. And then Christmas is starting to come out, too. So, um, this was a box of ornaments. Now, you're probably, th and they were $3. Now, you're probably thinking, Julie, you paid $3 for, um, like, there's five small ornaments in here. However, these are um, more than likely 
Um, let's look at this one. How pretty is that? Shiny Bright is like the hot, the hot commodity when it comes to vintage ornaments. And you can find the Shiny Bright logo or the name on the little hanger thing. Now this one just says made in the USA. So this is vintage, but it's not Shiny Bright. And I did not get a look at these because the box was taped and I didn't want to be rude. And um, what does this one say? This one says Shiny Bright. So this one is a Shiny Bright ornament. Um, there's a blue one. This one is shiny bright. That is awesome. Here is a real pretty pink one. That one is not. That one is not shiny bright. So looks like I got two so far that are shiny bright and two that are, this one is shiny bright. Now the shiny bright ornaments, the ones that are really more desirable are the ones that have like like indents, like the thumbprint on the inside or um, more of a, like, you know, more design. Like these aren't real special, but when I get a big box of them, I can add these to it and um, beef it up a little bit. So I'll just start collecting Christmas, which I have a couple of bins of Christmas already. So I thought $3 was fair for that. So I picked it up. Um, so I grabbed three of these little um, embroidered pillows. Now, I'm going to put these in my booth just because I think they are so fun. This one says, um, if it's on sale, I need it. So this actually I should keep, but I'm not going to. So um, so this is a little pillow, and it is embroidered. Um, it looks like this company, it says Two's Company is the name of the company out of Vernon, New York. But it, I thought it was, it was really cute, and I thought I would put that in my booth as like a little um little add-on this says mirror mirror on the wall i am i am my mother after all so this one i paid 50 cents for and this is the same company i'm assuming it was probably from the same lady this one was 35 cents and then i grabbed this one which i think is really funny same company again 50 cents a re um a retired husband is a wife's full-time job i thought that was kind of cute so i grabbed those three and then I grabbed these. So these are, I believe they're called Mola, Mola, Mola. Oh, I probably got it wrong, but they are hand quilted squares. Now someone could take these and make a pillow with these. I did pay up a little bit for each of these. They were $1.75 each. I will more than likely put these up on eBay. Um, but someone could put these on like a jacket or do so many things with them. I'm not quite sure how much I can get for them, but I might be able to get like 10 bucks a piece for them. So that would be good. And then I grabbed this little guy. He's just so cute. So he's a little tiger. Tigers are really hot right now. Um, I'm kind of into tigers right now, but, um, so this guy I paid 60 cents for, he's got beans in his tail um, he's, he'll sit really cute on a little chair. I have a vintage chair in my booth and I like to put these, I keep picking these guys up, but he's really soft and cute. He's vintage. He's adorable. He does not have a tag on him that I could find. So grabbed him. Um, and then I grabbed, so remember clothing was half price. So this was half price of three fifty. So this is a hooded champion sweatshirt. And it's got the champion logo on the front and it's quite cute. Remember, if there's anything you have of interest that you see here today, email me at happyvintageshopper at gmail and um, we can chat about it. So champion is really hot right now. So I'm going to probably put this up on eBay or I might keep it. I don't know. Or if you want it. I mean, come on. Uh, I grabbed this plate. I'm really into vintage stoneware right now. I'm going to put this up on eBay because people are looking for pieces to complete their set. And um, this was 25 cents. So, I mean. And then they had my pattern. So, I have bought a, which I, you guys saw in my, whoop. You guys saw in one of my videos the whole set that I bought from St. Vinny's here in Jefferson. So this is the set I own and I absolutely love it. 
I absolutely love it. I paid a dollar each. I got three more plates, which is good. You can always add to your to your set. Um, this is my pattern, and that's the back. But I grabbed three more plates. I'm really excited about those. I'll get those all washed up and put in my kitchen. Put in my kitchen. So these are salt and pepper shakers I picked up. So this is called Coin Dot. Okay. Um, they, I paid 50 cents a piece for these, and I'm guessing I can get probably between 8 and 10 for these. I'm not sure if I'll put these up on eBay or if I'll put these in my in my space at Fort, but I grabbed those, and then I grabbed a pumpkin. So this is a vintage jack-o'-lantern pumpkin candy, candy um, bucket. You guys all probably use these. So um, the ones that are the most desirable and the, the most desirable vintage-wise um, is the brand Empire, okay? This was 50 cents. They had a whole, a whole big bat bin full of these, and I went through all of them. I found a few other, a couple other Empires, but they were newer. This one is older. Um, this one says um, 1968. So the other ones were, were not old, but you can just tell that this has got some um, age to it. Um, so I picked this one up. I thought it was pretty cool. It's 50 cents. I don't know how much I can get for this, but I will look it up to find out. Um, and then I grabbed a whole bag of these. They are Halloween um, door decorations or wall decorations. I just remember teachers using these a lot when I was a kid. So these are um, vintage. This one's got fuzzy on the side. Um, and then they always are, this one says Eureka USA. But I think I can get, I can probably get, I don't know, maybe. So $3.50 I paid for the whole thing. And I, there's, let's see, there's four of them in here. So there's two of this one, this fuzzy on the back. There's two of this cat one. This one's got a little bit more damage on it. Um, I'm trying to think if I can find a maker on this. Probably the same, it's probably Eureka. Pretty typical, pretty common, um, but these are really cute. These sell pretty well um, for me. I sold a whole bunch of, um, a whole group of them that were Easter related. And I think I had, there was probably six of them and I think I sold them for $20. So here's one that's like the whole gang, which is very, very cute. And of course they always have some damage because people use them. They were in like a classroom or on someone's wall or door. I'm trying to see if this one has a maker on it. I'll be able to look on Google Lens and find it, but so I'll definitely will be able to um, sell these for more than $3.50. So I grabbed those. Sorry for the crinkle. I grabbed those. Um, my fun's going to be coming to an end because I'll be going back to school. And I won't be able to, you know, do as much running around. But I seem to figure it out. I seem to get out there enough. So I grabbed these. Um, these are Converse. Black and white. Just Converse. They are obviously worn. But because they were half price, it was half price clothing, I, paid, I got $2 for them. And I'll be able to put these probably um, in my booth at Five Star for probably 20 20 And then I got some high toppers. Like I said, I paid $2 for these. $2. I, I just love Converse so much. I wear them. I actually bought mine at Five Star. Um, and I wear them so much. I'm actually wearing them out. And I'm probably going to need to start looking for another pair. And then I grabbed, these are Victoria's Secret. So these were, this was $2, so I paid a dollar for it. But they're just like a little um, camisole, like night shirt. So this one is a size small. Now it is the vintage tag, the vintage Victoria's Secret tag, I believe. So um, let's see if it says a year. Sometimes these do say a year on them. Doesn't. But anyway, I can tell this one is vintage just by the label. You know, they don't they don't use these like handmade. Oh, that stick and cat got out again. I just saw 
Four kitties out. I gotta go grab him one second. I got him. He's not supposed to be outside, but he's found the outdoors and he, as soon as that back door opens, I don't even realize that he runs out. Anyways. And then I grabbed this one. Now this one isn't as vintage. I can, I'll show you the tag, but still the same idea. Very, very pretty. I will put these up on eBay. You can see this tag isn't as old. Um, size small, probably the same lady. So I got those, I paid a dollar each for those. I thought that was a good idea. I'll probably lot those together, put those together. Um, and then I grabbed, so the guy at um, Twice as Nice, his name is Matt. He's the guy who prices all the vintage. So we've I've kind of gotten to know Matt a little bit. I'm just like, hey man, what you got in the back? <laughs> you know, so he brought out for me this whole bag of vintage like flower sacks. It, I paid $5 for the bag of them. But I know I can put these up on eBay. I mean, someone will make something out of these. I just thought I had to save them. Old vintage flower sacks. How cool. Look at this one. Do people make, what do people do with these? Do you guys know? What do people do with these? Um, this one's got a pig on it. How cool. Do people make curtains out of them? Do they make pillows? Help me out. But this is an old flower sack. See, here's the, the inside. <clears throat> it's very, very worn, but you can read some of the words on it. Very cool. I haven't op even opened this yet. I just grabbed it. Here's another one. Okay. Here's another one. How cool are these? And then this is a big one. This one says... This one says Badger Brand Selected Seeds. <clears throat> Since 1865, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. L Tool Seed Company. This one's big. Look at how big this one is. It's a real big one. So this must have been a seed bag or a feed bag. So, yeah. So I have no idea how much these are worth, but I will lot these all together as well, more than likely. <clears throat> to sell those and then I grabbed this vintage tablecloth isn't this pretty yellow it's it's a rectangle which is nice usually they're square because they would have fit over a card table but I didn't see too many major stains on it usually these cotton tablecloths will have um will have stains on them because people used them. I'll just give you a better look at this this way. So I'm having a linen sale on a live auction app that's called Whatnot. Doing that um, Thursday night. So I'm gonna add this to my sale. Um, so I paid $1.75 for this. So I hope I can get, I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. It, people, someone used it, but boy, is the fabric nice. Very, very nice, so pretty. So I'm gonna add that to my whatnot sale. I like that. And then I grabbed, oh, this was a vintage, um, I paid $1.50 for this. So this is a vintage like nightgown. These are really, these sell really well on eBay. So this is kind of a brownish, is it brown or black? It's a very dark, if it's not, it's a very dark chocolate brown or um, black, but it's long. It's long and it's kind of a ribbedy kind of material. But here's the tag. This is the fun part. Here's the tag. Look at that vintage tag. There we go. Very, very cool. Very cool. And it still has the belt. Oh no, this is attached. Um, is it on both sides? Yes, so it would tie in the back, but isn't that pretty? So vintage nightgowns, they can go, they can go, oh, and there he is, the, the culprit. Um, they can go up to like $50. So I paid $1.50 for this. I can probably get like $40 for this. I mean, I know, it's nuts. 
it is not so low. All right. And what else do I have in here? Oh, yeah. So I grabbed a whole set of these dishes or these glasses. So there are eight of these and there are like two blue, two purple, two like green. So there's two of each colors of these glasses. And I believe that these are, um, what did I, I looked these up. It's been, it was last week though, but I, I can't remember. Look at, look at how pretty these are. So these are so mid-century modern. I did pay a dollar each for these, but the set of eight, I can probably get like $40 for. So I'm going to probably put these up on eBay. They are kind of a pain in the you-know-what to ship. Glasses are just a little bit, and then purple. Look at this purple. So pretty. So they are kind of a pain to ship, glasses, but... Um, I've gotten, I've gotten pretty good at, um, you know, packing stuff up because I've watched a lot of videos. Like I watch videos on how people pack just to get an idea. These might be Blinko. Blinko or um, Anchor Hawking or, but they are so mid-century modern. Look at how pretty these are. Yeah. So, so the, I paid $8 for the set and probably, I can probably get at least $50 for these at least. So I'm excited about, I was really excited about those. What else is in here? I don't remember until I open it. Oh, I got a Tiger Coffee. This is a milk glass mug. So I paid a dollar for this. I can probably put this, maybe a five star, I'll put this for like six, six or eight. So that's good. And then one other thing in here. What is it? What is it? Oh yeah, this little this little cloisonne. Cloisonne. What is cloisonne you say? What is cloisonne you say? I paid a dollar fifty for this little itty bitty teapot. So cloisonne means they've taken like wire and then they fill in the wire with, I believe, enamel wear. But look at how cute is that? I'm sure this was made in India. Can you guys see how pretty that is? Does it say on the bottom? It does not say on the bottom where it's made, but there's no major flaws with this, but it is very sweet. Very, very sweet. So I grabbed that. I'll probably put that at five star um, because that probably, I'll probably put that for like, I don't know, six or eight, something like that. Um, and I grabbed these. So these are, whoops. These are, if you ever were in the 80s and 90s where we did home and, no, 90s, or it was it 2000s. We did, we had like a home party called home interiors. So these are probably home interiors, but I paid $1.50 each for these. And these actually will sell for like $20. So I can put these at five star um, somewhere. So I grabbed those and then I grabbed these butterflies, these I might put up on eBay, I don't know. These were 40 cents. And then I grabbed this rose, really pretty. This was $1.50. And then I grabbed these hummingbirds. These would be really cute up on a wall. They probably came in a set. There's three of them. Oop. And I paid 50 cents, 40 cents, and 60 cents for each of these. But how cute are these? So cute. So mid-century modern. The brass is very mid-century modern, but I grabbed those. And I believe that was it. I grabbed these last pot holders. How cute are these? 25 cents a piece. I may keep these. I think these are really cute. You know, it's that quality cotton where the heat doesn't come through but these are super cute. So I grabbed those. And that is it. <laughs> the sun's coming through my window, kind of funky, but. So those are the things I picked up um, over the, like the end of last week and then yesterday. So I will get to listing because that's the only way I can bring, sell them is if I list them. And then I'll get some of these priced and put it back in the box and take to Five Star. Five Star opens back up on Thursday. They're open Thursday through Monday, 10 to six. Um, 
So go check them out. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. It's free. Um, and I'd like to hear from you. Please comment. So let me, um, let me hear from you guys. Until next time, I will be going out shopping today. I'm headed to Watertown. So I will bring a haul video to you what I find today, probably for next week. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day and don't forget, happy shopping everyone. Bye.